if there's any sign that you 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 have an injury or have a knock, they would uh, want you to be sent back, or they would want to you know collect you back so that you don't injure yourself representing your country. I think that's the case with Usime right now. Usime had a knock, had a bit of a hamstring problem, not very serious. His signal for the coach to remove him in that last match, which the coach did, and right now. There's a report, there's been a report that he's going to undergo MRI scan to know the severity of this injury. But he's been ruled out for this match. He won't be taking part in this match because uh, they don't want to risk it. Napoli doesn't want to risk it. Nigeria also doesn't want to risk it. Osimo will very likely be traveling to Napoli uh, because he won't be taking part in this match. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I want to say a very big thank you to all my supporters. I'm seeing lots of you subscribing. This is very good. And uh, I appreciate every each and every single one of you for clicking onto that subscribe button. Uh, if you're catching my videos for the first time, uh, welcome to this channel, Football Stories. I talk about uh, Super Eagles and I also talk about Chelsea and generally, re generally react to um interesting sporting activities around the world so um there's been an update guys nigerian super eagles will be playing that mozambique match without the likes of Ihana Cho and um, victor simmer now this is a really really huge blow it's very huge blow for us sad news for us for us because these guys are our key players and we would definitely miss them in this match Yes, we have a lot of options in the attacking areas, but then these guys are very, very important for us. But sadly, we won't go, go into that fixture with these guys because uh, they've been unavailable. For Osime, uh, I said that in my previous video, where I mentioned that he had injuries and um, of course he was taken off. If you saw the match, you would realize that he was taken off and then Mofi came in and uh, He's not been able to shake it off. It's not even about him being able to shake it off. The coach doesn't want to risk him. And you know the thing with uh, clubs, your club doesn't allow you, they allow you to go for international duty, but they don't allow you to stress too much. If, you, if any sign, if there's any sign that you, you, you have an injury or have a knock, they would uh, want you to be sent back or they would want to you know, collect you back so that you don't injure yourself representing your country. I think that's the case with Osime right now. Osime had a knock, had a bit of a hamstring problem, not very serious. His signal for the coach to remove him in that last match, which the coach did, and right now there's a report, there's been a report that he's going to undergo MRI scan to know the severity of this injury. But he's been ruled out for this match. He won't be taking part in this match because uh, they don't want to risk it. Napoli doesn't want to risk it. Nigeria also doesn't want to risk it. Yeah. Osime will very likely be traveling to Napoli uh, because he won't be taking part in this match. And then for Ihana Cho, it's been uh, uh, updated that Ihana Cho left the camp earlier today because he had some personal issues to settle. Completely personal, no injury whatsoever. He left because he was given permission to leave. Nobody knows why he why he left. He hasn't said anything. There's no no report or update whatsoever as to the exact reason, but it's probably for personal reason or for family reason. So Ihana Cho ruled out for this one. Uh Osime also ruled out for this one. And um, we have a lot of attacking options, so there's no need to, to be to fret or there's no need to be uh, to over worried about tomorrow's fixture and that's precisely what the coach has said that Nigeria has a lot of quality to uh, you know to win Mozambique to make sure that they play a very good game and come out victorious against Mozambique even without these two guys Ihana Cho and Osime not being available and of course that's true we have uh, Boniface, which we, we saw how good he was, 
um, what's his name, Morphe, uh, and a whole lot of them. So this could be a chance for uh, some of these players to actually feature and show what stuff that they are made of. So that's the news, guys. Uh, just wanted to drop this quick update about these two key players not being available. What's your thought on this? So let me know what you think. Do you think Nigeria can beat Mozambique without Usime and Ihana Cho in the team sheet? Thank you for watching this video. Uh, leave a like for this video and subscribe if you've not already done so. And I'll catch you in my next video.